good evening, good evening. Our subject today, dental and growth and development is based upon education and the importance of education to ourselves as an individual as well as organizations. And today I'm going to take my reading from the Common Sense Approach and it deals with education, page three in the Common Sense Approach. Education is a major role of this organization because its concept is the more knowledge you receive, the better your chances are for you to live your life the way you want to. The thing is learning how an education plays a major role in that. Education can mean having the job you enjoy doing rather than a job you must take to survive. It means supporting yourself and your dependents' responsibilities at the expense of your intelligence and not at the expense of a gun. Education means survival because history has proven that people pay for what they don't know. People's pay for what they don't know. This is what history has shown us. Now, before we can begin, we're going to break down the etymology of the word education. Education comes from the Latin word edge you care. And edge you care means to bring up. So if you're bringing something up, I mean, education means to bring up. And it comes from the Latin words, educare, which means to bring up. Another word for education is literacy. And the Latin word for literacy is literatus. Literatus. Now, literatus that's a U. Literatus means educated, learn, or know the letters. When you're dealing in a court of law, they always say that you're going to be judged according to the letter, letters of the law. The letters of the law. So you're dealing with the letters of the law, you're dealing with literatus, and literatus means literacy, and we know literacy is education. Now the opposite, which is our greatest enemy of education, will be ill literacy. And the Latin word for illiteracy is ill Literatus. And illiteratus means, which is literacy, and it means unlearned, unlettered, ignorant, without culture, and elegant. So if you are illiterate, that means you are unlearned, unlettered, ignorant, without culture, and, ele and, and elegant. So that so now, do you see how all this plays into growth and development? Do we see why education is so important? Because you're going to pay for what you don't know. And a lot of our men and women today pay for what they don't know. So somebody with an iota, with a small iota of understanding can come in and lead you straight down the road of illiteratus which is illiteracy, lead you straight down that road. Understand this here. There's no way in the world that some blogger, some newscaster, a uh, FBI employee, a federal employee, or police or anything, should be able to come in and tell you anything about what you believe. They should never be more educated than you. How can somebody know more about you than you know about yourself? Somebody can come along and tell you who you are. 
They can tell you how you move. They can tell you your history, but you don't even know your own history. You don't even know where you come from. You don't know where you at, and you don't know where you're going. The law, education, all of it is the same. All of it is the same. It can cut for you, and it can cut against you. Education cuts for you. It protects you from outside foreign agents. That's what it protects you from. It protects you from somebody trying to mislead you down a road that is false. It cuts against you when you don't know and no people still agent, foreign agents can come in and lead you down that road of illiteratus, which means illiteracy. So the lesson today is Know thyself. And how do you get to know thyself? You get to know thyself by educating yourself. That's what that means. Know thyself means educating yourself. That's what it means. And that's the lesson for today. And I want to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.